Now, today we want to look at the difference between inscribing of a circle and circumscribing of a circle. Now, let's take this example. It says we should construct a triangle ABC on AB as base with AB 70 millimeter, AC 57 millimeter, BC 76 millimeter and draw the inscribing and circumscribing cycle now the first thing we have to do is to draw the triangle right so if i pick up my pencil i'm going to draw an horizontal line this way faint line you can see that i'll draw an horizontal line faint line now i'm going to pick a point a b first of all i'm going to take point a and this is a here and i'm going to measure line what line i'm going to measure line 70 millimeter because in the question we are told that a b is 70 millimeter so i said a b is the base of the triangle then we have a triangle you're having something like this something like this right this is a this is b and this is what c so you said a b is the base so a to b here is giving us what 70 millimeter so if i pick up my rule i'm going to start from my initial point a and i'll put that to be the zero then i'm going to measure 70 millimeter so a to B is what 70 millimeter, right? So I will not take in it. So from this point, straight down to this point. This is what A B 70 millimeter. Now we know that C is somewhere around here, and we are given that the A C is 57 millimeter. Now I'm going to take my meter rule. It said AC, so I'm going to measure 57. So with the help of my meter rule, I'll place it here, right? And I'm going to measure. This is 50. This is 55. This is 56. And this is what 57 here, All right? Now I'll come. Since it said AC, that means I'll start from A, then I'll get C. So A, I'll put it on A. Then it means that C is somewhere around here. C falls on this line. Is that again? Now the next one here, it says BC is 76. Now I'm going to take my meter rule and I'm going to measure BC 76. So from here, this is 0, starting from 0. Then I'll move to 76. This is 75 and this is what 76 here. Now I'll come since it said BC and where I'm starting from is what is B and C will be anywhere along this arc. Right? So where the line meets each other, they, they intersect, the two arc intersect, that will be my point C. So I'll take my meter rule and I'm going to connect a and C together and I'm going to connect B and C together right and you know what I'm having here so this is A this is B and this is C so I'm going to replicate this again here since we are doing inscribing and circumscribing now we see that I have replicated the two triangles, they are the same, right? The same procedure I used for this, I used for this. Now what is now the difference between inscribing and circumscribing? Now let's start with what? With circumscribing. Now when you talk about circumscribing of the circle around the triangle, it means that circumscribing means you're using the circle to go around the figure using the circle to go around the triangle such that the circumference of the triangle will be touching each point apex point of what 
of the triangle. So it will be touching each of those points, the touch point A, point B, and what? Point C. That is how you circumscribe the circle. So what are the criteria for circumscribing a circle? The criteria there is that you need to bisect two of the three sides. Two of any of the three sides. You can choose to bisect AB and BC. You can choose to bisect AB and AC. And you can choose to bisect BC and AC. Any two of the three sides of a triangle will give you the circumscribing circle. Now for this, I'm going to take bisect two of the three sides. So I'm going to bisect AB. So how do you bisect? You place your triangle, your set your compass at two of the points. A B right after placing it there now with the radius B you strike an arc this way you can see that let me make it bigger up and what and down now at points a also with the same radius you strike up here too and you're going to strike down here too you can see that so if you look at it it is meeting at this point it is meeting here and also it is meeting here so let me now use my meter rule and connect those two points it is meeting so it is meeting at this point and at this point you can see that so i'll just use a faint line and i'm going to join now the next point i'm going to bisect i can choose since i've done a b i can choose to do b c or i can choose to do a c right so let me do bc so the radius of b to c this way i'll take it at my as my point you can see that then i'm going to place it here i'll strike an arc at this level you can see the arc then i'll strike at also this level too now with the same radius i'll place it at c I'll do the same thing and I will slash it here where it meets it at this point. You can see that. And I'm going to also slash it here where it meets it at this point. So these are my two given points here. This is my two given points here. So I'll take my rule and connect them together. So this is where they are meeting. Now, you now take a compass and you place it at this point here where they meet and you get it to a point. Maybe let me say point C, the highest point there. And you start drawing your circumscribing circle. Right? From this point. Place it here. I see that, and you start drawing your circumscribing circle. Okay. Now, this is what we have: the three points. The three points will be touching the circumference of the circle, so we call this an inscribing circle. Now, let's not look for that of what inscribing. If you want to inscribe a circle in a triangle, what you need to bisect is two of the three angles. Any two of the three angles, you can start to bisect angle A and B. 
can decide to bisect angle A and C or angle B and C, any two of the three angles, unlike the circumscribing where you bisect any two of the three sides. So let's start. So if I'm to bisect with your knowledge in bisection of angles, if I place it at point A this way, I'm going to strike a two arc like this. You can see that now with the same measurement I can place at this point let's say where the circle bisects the horizontal axis let me call it a prime and let me call it a prime prime right so I'll place that a prime I'm going to strike an arc and I'll place that a prime prime I'm going to strike another arc so it meets at this point here. So from there, I'm going to draw my line that will pass through the point. This way, faint line. You can see that? I'll do the same thing. I can choose to use the same radius. I'll put it at point B. Also, I'll strike the arc this way so where it cuts b i'll call it b prime and the horizontal and at the angle side i'll call it b prime prime so i'll place it at b prime i'll strike an arc i'll place that b prime prime also where it intersects and i'll strike another arc you can see that so where it intersects from the point b I'll draw a line that will pass through the center this way. Now it is passing it from this point here. I will now take my compass and I'll place it at the center. So I'll place it at the center here where it meets. You can see that. So and I'll gauge it to the side. Then I'll start moving the circle this way. So it must touch the three sides. You can see that? So it must touch the three sides. So this is what we call an inscribing of a circle and a circumscribing of the circle so this is inscribing and this is what circumscribing so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also like the video thanks for watching